the Ninja Multi Ascend by Harkin. This is what we're going to be taking a look at today. Specifically, we're going to be taking a look at why it's worth the upgrade. All right, the first thing I'm going to take a look at is simply ascending and descending and how smooth it is with the multi ascend. So I'm going to open up my plate, put my rope into it, lock my plate, and I'm going to take up my slack on my system, sit into it, and get ready to go. So with most traditional chest ascenders now in the market, as most people know, as I ascend up, if I don't have rope weight or somebody holding down my rope, what happens is I go up, it bunches up, I have to keep pulling slack out underneath it, right? So with this, as you can see, I have it right here, nothing below me. As I go up, if I go up nice and smooth and slow, it feeds right through your device still. Again, that kind of just proves and shows how smooth it flows through your device. Uh, another big benefit to this is, um, is my ergonomically, how I'm standing up when I ascend. So with traditional devices with teeth in them, I have to stand up fairly straight and go in line. If I don't, what happens? If I sit back at all, people with poor core strength, is it bunches up and I have to keep feeding it. It's physically, physically exhausting for them. With this guy, you can see as I go up, I'm gonna sit back into it and it's still gonna feed through as I go up. Whereas other devices, you know, just lock up on those teeth, right? Another big benefit to this is, again, ergonomically, is descending on this device. Because there is no teeth, all I have to do is open these wings up and I can sit back almost as I open it up. Whereas, again, teeth device I have to press down and go straight down in line if I don't it's gonna catch so I go up open these wings up I can sit all the way back it's still feeding through let go of the wings and it's locked in and I'm good to go to keep going down all right we'll take a quick look at changeovers so changeovers for me in classes that we've taught for rope access and rope rescue it's usually one of the harder things for people to master and get used to. Um, it's very physical maneuver for people, and one of the hardest parts is getting out of the chest ascender that have teeth, right? So again, as they stand up, if they're not in the perfect position to open up, pull down and out, and get those teeth out, they're not going to be able to do it. It keeps feeding through, so it's difficult. For this, again, what you'll see is all I'm going to do is stand up, open the plate up, and then pretty much out of the system. Just like that, I'm already out. It pops right out. Again, no teeth to capture it. All right, so this one we're just gonna take a quick look at how easy it is to rescue with it and how high he has to go up. And now, again, on other devices, as he goes up, he's gotta get these teeth down. So any catching is hard to get me off. Whereas this one, he's just gonna, he's gonna rat up with his clutch a little bit. And then as soon as the tension's even remotely off here, he's gonna be able to open the plate and kick the rope out. Now you can see what happened there, right? If that was a traditional type of device we'd have in with teeth, there's no way he'd be able to do that. He had to probably go up another six plus inches to get that device down. One last benefit to talk about this coming from a training company perspective is the teeth on here versus the grooves on the multi-ascend. One of the benefits that we've seen in our training facility over the past year is not getting fuzzy rope. So as these teeth on any of these ascenders will show you, they're gonna dig into this rope, into the sheath as it goes up and your ropes can get all fuzzy. And we haven't been seeing that with this and it's simply just because it doesn't have the teeth biting into it. It's clamping the rope on either side. All right, I hope you enjoyed a quick video just taking a look at the Harkin Multi-Ascend and why it's worth the upgrade. Uh, for more information, check out elevatedsafety.com. You can check out our gear shop online or you can also send the information to info at elevatedsafety for any gear sales.